Go Flow. They're just so darn cute. Look at this. But this one had a really bad start. Really bad start in life. Yeah, that one right there. We got this one at the same time I got done with a whole bunch of medical problems and I'm going to show you. We're going to go to that part of the video after this message because Kira made this message for you guys. Yes, I did. Because she's doing what? I'm helping. She's helping. So y'all want to go donate, go ahead. I'll play that and then we'll come back and we're going to go, we're going to go there. They might not like us after this, but they may. Who knows? Is that right? Right. We bought this one for my computer originally, and then we got this one for cheap because they're like, hey, we can do a review on it. But we, we had it. We got it right around the time Dad got hurt, and it, got, it has a problem. So I'm going to cut to that. I started making a video on this when I first got it, and you're going to see it. It's opened up, and we find the problem. So let's cut to that now, and we'll be right back and do some tests on it now that it's been fixed. All right, now I couldn't figure out in the beginning of the video when I plugged the fan in why it had no power. Now we know I have opened this up, and so this works. I'm gonna have to worry about doing a video on this again later. Everything else appeared to work, um, but I see now why I have no 12 volt power, and it's kind of obvious. There is the connection, and so when I touch that. I get power, but they literally just chinched on that wire so bad. So um, we're going to do a video on this again here. Um, I've got too much stuff to do. I got an air conditioner. Um, I'm just now, I'm just now moving around a little bit, and um, a little bit wore out from doctor's visits, but. Um, We'll get back to this. I'm going to repair this. So I went and got some wire, and this is uh, just the same as that wire. It's 10 gauge silicone wire, and um, we're going to solder it up. So I've got me some good Radio Shack um, and some shrink tape, so we'll protect it. Now, I'll get this fixed, and we'll deal with it later. Right now, and as I was showing in the beginning of the video before I got ticked off at it, um, it's uh, typically good quality. Now, we're going to get into more depth on this, and maybe that's not a big deal. It don't seem to pull hardly no power, but we've got that to fix. EcoFlow gave me this for a really good discount, basically, and um, it was worth doing a video on, and I just wasted a good solid three hours of my day and I'm in here on a walker right now. Um, I'm real wobbly. So um, when I get better, EcoFlow, you'll get your review and you might not like me. All right. All right. So as you've seen in that video right there, um, these guys gave it to me basically almost free and uh, they're getting real ticked off at that well you need to do a video send it back do a video and i'm like uh you don't want me to do a video um probably a fluke most likely what you just saw was a fluke um but that doesn't uh that doesn't solve the problem that we had i attempted to get a hold to their customer service and um that wasn't easy and i got nothing out of it so I went ahead and fixed it. So as you've seen there in the video, it is fixed. We now have 12 volt and I can prove that. Now, um, this was the fan. It doesn't, this little fan don't pull no power. 
uh, I used to have it in my semi truck and it didn't have anything so I'll turn DC power on and it's going to show you right here the power's on and then I'll plug this fan in you see it wouldn't do that I didn't get that luxury see it only pulls seven watts I mean it's impressive just barely any power at all so now the 12 volt works however um, it all works now now I've tested it all this thing here is the 600 and it comes with your basic stuff. It comes with your automotive plug that'll charge it from the back. It comes with your solar that'll charge it from the back. And you can get a choice between a 100 watt or a 200 watt solar fold out set. Now these are really good. The EcoFlows have been making really, really good or picking, choosing, whatever, quality solar panels. And we did charge it originally from that big one and it got, it got hot, didn't it? Yes. Very hot. The wires got really hot, and so we didn't want to charge it like that again. So we charged it the second time with a little one, and it took a lot longer. It'll charge that one just nice, don't get hot, and it charged that nice. So I can't say that I'm going to recommend the big set of panels for this one. Now, maybe if you've got the big Delta, the huge one, you know, yeah. So what you're looking at here is you're looking at Mama Bear and Baby Bear. And it's kind of cute, because watch. It literally... Look at that. Now that one we got for Kira's computer because she does all her uh, homeschool stuff on her computer. We, this was a this is a UPS. So it's a, a un uninterrupted power supply. It immediately like that. It's really fast. So, I mean, it's it's um, compared to the A3. It's very fast. So if you lose power, boom, it's immediate. And now since we're pretty much 100% off grid, she don't really use it that much but it stays plugged in because in case the battery bank does pull down too low running the ac unit and stuff that's her safety margin still okay yeah, i can take my light out i can take my light around with me yeah and she can run she can use it around with her she has her big portal light outside that is a 70 watt led she can set up for when she does her gardening at night and that thing does great runs two or three hours on it no problem all right so back to this one this is the river two pro they call it i'm not sure about the pro part but i do know that it's 600 watt but it easily exceeds that and she's going to show you that i'll power up the ac okay there it is it shows ac on and strangely enough it shows i think it looks like 50 hertz but i've tested it is 120 120 volts and it is 60 hertz okay so she's going to plug that in and we're going to get a volunteer right quick to uh, show the vacuum here. Bring the big vacuum over here, Kira. Okay. All right. Hi, it's time for inverter test. Oh, she's going to get inverter test here. Pull that one off here. Hold, hold the hose. All right. So Ida May is going to volunteer for the vacuum. She loves the vacuum. <laughs> Ever seen a dog like that, right? Okay. So you see it's easily handling the 800 and plus watts that this thing is pulling. Every time that vacuum bogs down a little bit, making good contact with Ida, it peaks out at about 850. And for a 600 watt inverter, it does good. Now, as soon as I plug anything bigger into it, have you got her yet? Yeah. Very good. You like that? Okay. So, anytime I plug something a little bit bigger than that, it falls. It, so, it won't do it. But for a 600-watt oh, inverter, right. and it to start this big thing right here, mm -hmm. and I don't know once the other side done, um... For that to start this right here, that's impressive. It's, and the fan is just barely running right now. This came with the standard USB array, the sad, depressing China don't understand America or South America or China don't understand Africa. China don't understand even Europe. And they damn sure don't understand Russia. China don't understand anybody but China when it comes to 10 amp it's the most pointless power supply that you can use 
Yes, this only pulls an amp. But anything you use, 12-volt refrigerators, things like that, man, they'll just almost, they'll, they'll start at 11, 12 amps. And they're, if, they, if you leave it alone and you walk away, you'll end up with E for error on your, you know, refrigerator, 12-volt DC, you know, with a real compressor. It'll just default. It'll, it'll shut off because it can't handle it. None of these made today, none of these can handle it. And this one doesn't give you any above 10 amp 12 volt outlets. That's a part I don't like. As far as the build quality, good, except for that you've seen in the video. Bad, because we've had enough of this. If you want portable power, look, you could buy a $10 battery to carry around to do this. Why in the hell would you spend all that money on that? right? But what you really need is some good DC power for lights. A lot of stuff is on DC. And you need to be able to plug in the front like all the rest of them you see that you can charge it from your car. But hell no, you've got to get it spun all the way around. And, and look, 13 amp max, 13 amps. So no, I don't like it. All right. And and these cords, although they're heavy enough and they handle it just fine, it got really hot right here on this connector, which I didn't like that because you don't, you don't want to walk away from that. Otherwise, the solar puts out a lot of power. Now, I've taken their solar, I've taken their solar, and I charged up the new all power. And it handles it like a dream, no problem. It don't even get hot. So there's something in here choking back that extra power of the bigger solar panels when this is supposed to handle like two or 300 watts, it's not doing it. So um, as far as price point, it, yeah, it's well worth it. Well worth it. I'll put a link below the video to it and you'll see it. Um, you go check it out. You check out both the versions. And But my recommendation is, is that EcoFlow has making, is making the big ones, 1800 or larger. And that's where you ought to put your money, my personal view. Um, these are great. But man, I got enough toys. I don't, I don't need more toys. And I thought by agreeing to this for a few dollars, uh, shipping cost or whatever, you know, I thought that was okay. But I don't know. It's, I'm not. There's a whole lot of plugs just to run a max 800 watts, 600, I guess you'd say. I think after a good 10 minutes, that 800 probably would have just sucked the battery down and killed this thing. But it only pulled down two percent for the few seconds we ran it. But I'm giving you a good review. Um, you saw the inside, a lot of silicone, <laughs> a lot of no vibration stuff, um, and eh, some bad quality control. But other than that, um, immediately return it if you have a warranty issue. Don't wait like I did. I was sick in the hospital. And this little one, it's been a trooper. It's ran and ran and ran. It's plugged into a 100-watt solar panel. That's it. You know those solar panels I did in a video a long time ago, Alt Total Solar or whatever? It's one of those plugged into this. Stays that way. She brought it in here to do the video. And that sits on it. This sits on it. You see, she's even missing the boot. So hers, she sits there with her little fan. Where's your blower thing? Kira sits there. That's what this whole thing does for her. Is it just sits there and she sits there with her little fan. You see? I love my little fan. There running on her while yeah, she's doing exactly. stuff that and, would probably be really good if you're like camping or if you live yeah, in a trailer and, but, you, and you want to keep your devices next to your bed right this little one would the big one though you're getting to a point where it's almost enough and then it's kind of too much exactly they should have a river 2.5 it's a thousand watt and then you got something then you can really do it. Now, I would guarantee you this, that a standard 20 foot cubic, 20 cubic foot refrigerator, this would probably run it for during a basic power outage and do a good job. But then what? It don't charge well from your car. It don't charge well from the solar unless it's the smaller panels. Well, do you want to leave your refrigerator sitting for six hours while you're charging it back up or four? <laughs> okay. That one there charges back up in about an hour and 45 minutes. This one here, four and a half hours. It's got a lot more battery, but, you know, do your math. All right, guys, that's the best I can do. EcoFlow, should have had your customer service contact me back. All right, so my conclusion, perfect for her. 
not quite enough for me, a little overkill for her. Price point, that one's really good priced. This one here, maybe just uh, look for the discount, look for a low price or, you know, sale. And it's worth it. If you have a problem, immediately, don't be like me, I was sick and didn't contact them for a week or two, immediately go, hey, problem, and they'll probably fix it. I didn't have that much luck. All right. So did you guys, uh, did you guys look at that little video and give Pura a tip? Did yes, you? Yes, they did. They did? Mm -hmm. I didn't see anything. And I've been saving it up and I bought something really special. She did. It's beautiful. Guys, there it is out of the box. Y'all helped her do this. I can't wait. Yeah. Dad sold the little car too, but it wasn't worth much, was it? But look, and she loves it. We're going to do a video on it real soon. And we're going to make Ampeak video here pretty quick. Um, the Power Queen batteries, as usual, thunderstorm. That, uh, light mist in the rain. But we're going to explain why. All right, you guys be good, huh? Yep.